Hello friends and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so glad you joined me today because we're going to talk about having a family command center. I'm a firm believer that every family should have a family command center. It could be big, it could be small, it could be on the side of your refrigerator, it could be inside your kitchen cabinet doors. And I am excited to share with you my new family command center in the mudroom in our new home. Okay, the reason why I think that every family should have a family command center is because it keeps you organized, everything in one place, and it keeps the family in the know. I made a video a few years ago on the family command center that I had inside my kitchen cabinet doors at our other home and I'll leave a link for you down below or the eye in the sky so you can go and look at that. And I use inside my kitchen cabinet doors and the side of my refrigerator. If you don't know and you've just popped in after a while, we recently have moved and this home has a beautiful mudroom which I am so excited about. You come in through the garage into the mudroom which I love because there is a bathroom to the right and the coat closet to the left. When thinking about putting together a family command center, you want like a launch pad. That's what the fly lady calls it. And she suggests having a place for everything. So number one, you want a spot for the backpacks. Having a place for your book bags so they don't have to scramble. Where's my bag? Is it in your room? This here has this beautiful cubby area, which is Seriously, I feel so blessed to have this. If you don't wanna put holes in your walls, you can use command strips. And this is what I've done in this whole area. The whole area, there's not one nail, it's all command strips. So as you can see right here, this was in our old house and this held the backpacks. So, and these are all hooked in with the command strips. Again, you want a spot for your backpacks and a spot for your keys. So after we come in from the garage, Boom, we hang the keys up. I like to hang my purse in here, and yes, I have a heavy purse, and this <laughs> has been holding up wonderfully. There is also a spot for the leash when we take Paige for a walk and potty. Look, she's right here in front of me. You wanna go for a walk? I think she wants to go for a walk, Boston. Come in. You wanna go for a walk? There you go. So number two, have a spot for leashes, purses, and keys. Let's talk about shoes. <laughs> You see, I have the three cubbies here. The kids can either own a section here in the cubby and put their shoes in there, but we also, Derek and I, and Callie put our shoes in here, so it's a free fall. Just get them in the basket, I don't care. I don't wanna see shoes all along here, cluttering the floor, just throw them in the basket. Let's go to this lovely pin board. I have had this pin board for years. I actually got it at Hobby Lobby. When I hung this, first hung this on the wall, I was so excited to utilize it. And then I was thinking, how am I going to use this? How is this going to benefit my family? So let's have a section for our family calendar. I actually got this pad at Office Depot. I ripped off the next few months that I needed. So I have August till December, until the end of the year. Ripped them off and pinned them onto the board. That way, if we need to see what's going on next month, we want to take a quick glance, we can. A lot of families do really good with synced calendars on their phone. Derek has tried to have me use them for years. I'm just not good at it. I'm a paper person, I'm a visual person, and so are my children. With this, we can write down things that are coming up. I have pens that are sitting right here on this um, rack. So what they could do if there's a birthday party coming up, um, if there's a church activity or school function that's going on that they want us to know about, that they could come in and they could write it in. Let's have a section for our daily to-dos. The kids always need to see which chore zone that they're in. If you'd like to see how I created the zone system for our kids for their chores, just click on the link below or the eye in the sky. Over to the right here you can see the kids' initials. So it, they rotate every week. And then I have my morning and night routine. The, this isn't my personal routine. This is my cleaning morning and night routine. So I just printed it out on one sheet, put it in a sheet protector and pinned it to the board. And then on the top right corner, I just have my daily, weekly cleaning schedule. I'm a very visual person. I, I have the rhythm down, but sometimes seeing things, it just, it's motivating to walk by here and see this and go, okay, what can I quickly do today in the home? How can I bless the home today? And there it is. As you can see here, I left this space open. This is open for party invitations, wedding announcements, anything like that that they want to pin that's coming up so that space is opened for that so let's talk about mail i do have a system for my mail 
and I will share it with you in another video that's coming up. But if you like an in and out section with your mail, a system like this would work out perfectly. We're going to give this a go and if it just ends up being the catch all cluttered spot and we don't go through it often, I'm going to take it down. So this is our family command center. This keeps us running. This keeps the anxiety down. I'm really excited for the kids to start school here in a couple of weeks so we could really see how this is working for us just where things need to be adjusted. Again, you don't have to go big. You could go small. I had a small one in our last home and it worked perfect for us. So I encourage you to create a family command center and a launch pad for you and your family. All right, if you have one, how is it working for you? Leave any tips down below. Let me know what you do. If you want to tag me in a picture on Instagram, I would absolutely love to see it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well and we'll see you soon. Bye. That's a toilet flushing. Filming with kids, you gotta do what you gotta do.